we, we can click on the browser that we want to run our test. Here we can check uh, well, what happened in the execution of that particular test. As you probably know, Cypress has suffered the most significant release yet. And I wanted to review in this video the biggest changes. I wanted to install Cypress from scratch. I want to migrate an existing boilerplate from uh, Cypress 9 to Cypress 10. And I wanted to explain you all of this stuff step by step. So I hope that you can, well, watch this video until, until the end. Please let me know in the comment section well, what, what I'm missing or if, if it is helping for you. And please support this video just hitting the like button. So, well, this video can reach more people that may want to, the difference, may, may want to know the difference uh, uh, in Cypress 10, okay? Let's start with a simple uh, installation. I know that I have done this video before, like a year and a half ago, but I want to install Cypress from scratch for people that is going to, well, actually use Cypress 10. Uh, from from or actually it's the first time using Cypress and they want to install Cypress from scratch okay so the first step as you probably know is that um, well we need to install Node.js in your computer right you need to install the LTS version or the actual so that's a must you need to do it before you install Cypress once you have done that you're gonna have access to npm which is the node package manager that is going to allow you to well actually install Cypress and all the dependencies that, that you need for your node.js project okay so what I'm gonna what I'm going to do is actually use the command npm I need all right and you're gonna see that it is going to ask me for some information the package name is going to be site 10 uh, the version the default one i'm not going to say a description the entry point is going to be index.js the test command is going to be test okay the git repository is going to be empty for now the keywords is going to be cypress testing javascript typescript okay um, i'm gonna enter to get this information uh, loaded the author is going to be me okay perfect and the license is going to be isc by default it is it is asking me if this is okay i'm going to just click on enter and you're going to see that all that information is going to be stored in the package.json as you can see that i have the name all the keywords that i just entered in an array right and the author and the license the next step that we have to do is install cypress using the command npm install cypress save dev okay what is going to happen is that in this package that JSON, we're going to have a reference to Cypress. You're going to notice that in a few seconds, we're going to have a node modules property referencing Cypress 10. Let me just show you this dev dependencies. And in this object, we're going to have all the dev dependencies that we need in our project. In this case, I just have Cypress, right? The 10.02 um, version. Okay. This is important. Probably when you install this, we're, you're going to have another version, but it is totally okay. It is just the moment that I'm trying this, okay? The next step, of course, is to, well, come here to the scripts part and change the test script to Cypress open here, okay? I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to be referencing this script, just entering npm run and the name of the script test in this case, okay? It is not working. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm going to save the package.json and probably that's the reason. You're going to see that now the Cypress open is running and right now, well, Cypress is working now. This is the new test runner that we have in the market. Um, if you are new in Cypress, probably you don't know this, but um, you have a test runner that is going to help you to check the execution of your scripts. There is going to be a kind of time travel uh, machine, right? Where you can check the logs, the actions, and all the stuff that you're gonna check in a few seconds, okay? Here we have a, a, a new stuff, right? We have like two different ways to test. We have an end-to-end -end testing that is going to help us to build and test the entire experience of your application, right? And then we have a component testing that is going to help you to, well, actually check the components from that, that you're developing, right? If you're using, for example, um, Vue.js or React or something like that. In this particular case, for, for this scope, for the scope of this video, we're going to be working with end-to-end. -end, but in the future, if you like the idea, please let me know in the comment section. So in the comment section, we're gonna, we can take a look of the component, component testing to review how it works, okay? So I'm going to click on end-to-end -end testing here, right? 
and it is going to help us to um, tell us what is new in Cypress or, or what we have in the project structure. In the first part, we have a new file here named cypress.config.js. What is this? It is basically, if you are related with the, la with the old Cypress, uh, we had a cypress.json where we define all the, the, the necessary stuff that we needed. For example, a base URL, the environment variables, the, I don't know, if, if we wanted to have a screenshot on failure, we can set that to true. Uh, I don't know, a lot of stuff that we can define here. Now it is in the cypress.config.js. It is like the new configuration file for end-to-end -end testing in particular, right? That's important. Um, then we have a new change under the support folder. We have an end-to-end.js file. Um, what is this? If you are old, or if you are related with the old Cypress, you're gonna notice that we used to have the support folder, and we had here an index.js, and that's basically it. Now they changed the name to end-to-end.js, and that's basically the change. Okay, the name, uh, the the rest of the stuff is okay and equal. As you can see, we have a commands.js. We used to have that as well in the repo. Let me show you that. We have the commands that TS or JS, depend on what you're using, right? Mm -hmm. So what is what is new here? Let's check. And well, actually, we, we used to have the fixtures uh, folder with to to well actually contain or save static data that we need for our test. It is the same. We had the same stuff here. But now let's take a look in the in the well actually in the in the folder structure. What is new here? Okay, if I open the Cypress folder, well, there is no uh, tests to, to, well, actually take a look, right? So what we have to do is here in the, in the UI is click on continue, okay? And if we want to, we, we can click on the browser that we want to run our test, for example, in Chrome, right? And it is going to ask us if we want to scaffold some examples, all right? Or if we want to create a new empty spec. If you want to, uh, I can create another video to check more details about Cypress 10 and all the configuration files, how to manage plugins. Please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to do that. But in this case, I'm gonna click on scaffold example exa specs. Now we have some specs under the end-to-end -end folder because now we don't have an integration folder. Let me show you this. In the old uh, version of Cypress, we used to have an integration folder and here we used to have all the scripts. For example, this one, the visual testing using Apply tools, right? But now we don't. We have an end-to-end -end, uh, folder and under this end-to-end -end folder, we have a series of scripts over here. And if you notice something here too, now the specs has this new structure to do that side.js. If you remember in the past, we used to have, for example, in the, I don't know, maybe in the Lighthouse folder, a script named, um, let me show you this, performance.spec.js. Now this has to be renamed to be a uh, well performance that side that js in this particular case that's a new standard that's the new weight that well they recommend to have this uh, renamed okay that's important and interesting now let's let's go ahead and and let's run this spec the tools one okay and if you are new to cypress that's basically what we're gonna have uh, see here you're gonna see this uh, runner with the the, the time, time travel machine that I just told you, right? You can see that we, here we can check uh, well, what happened in the execution of that particular test, right? If you are uh, used or related to Cypress, you know that it, it is working as it was. We just have a kind of uh, a kind of new UI that, well, where you can, for example, check the runs. If you are using the Cypress dashboard, we can check the settings to check the project settings uh, and so on, right? That's important too. And that's it, guys. I guess that we have covered the basic ones. I just wanted to check something else with you guys let me show you this now we don't have a plugins file take a look of this if you remember if you are related to the old cypress <laughs> we used to have under cypress a plugins folder but now we don't what happened here well basically we now have the plugins or we need to configure the plugins under the setup node events 
All right, I just wanted to say that if you want me to review more in depth this concept, we can do it in a future video. So guys, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Now you know how to run Cypress Stand from scratch. If you want to install it, you know how to do it and some of the difference between the old Cypress and the new version of Cypress. So thank you very much, guys. Hope that you enjoy this, support this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.